Ron, the New York Mets announcing yesterday that next season they will retire the numbers of Dwight Gooden and Daryl Strawberry. You, of course, were right there <laughs> when they uh, owned the city. What do you recall about the first time you saw both of those guys well, on a fit on a field? Great question. Uh, I was throwing on the mound in spring training next to Dwight. <laughs> he was wearing a 64. I could bring it and he's throwing next to me and I'm like I do not want to throw on this mound anymore. Get me on another mound a different time. Let him throw by himself. Never seen anyone throw that hard that easy. And for Daryl. Um, you know, when you're a ball player, man, you step in the clubhouse and you're ripped. You know, you're in the best shape of your life. <laughs> and you walk around, you feel like that. And then Daryl comes to the locker room. And you start to look at yourself, look in the mirror. <laughs> Maybe I need to do a few more curls or something. He just was the most physically gifted person I had ever seen in person. Um, it looked like he could have been a forward for the Lakers. He could have played wide receiver for the Eagles. Uh, but he opted for right field for the Mets. Yeah. Well, it should be uh, quite a scene <laughs> next year when the uh, <laughs> when the Mets uh, honor two of the great players in their storied franchise history, Dwight Gooden and Daryl Strawberry.